Okay, so in this video, I wanna share with you my six month review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus here. Let's go ahead and jump in. Now, first things first, I wanna answer this question. Now, if you are in the market for a large tablet and you happen to stumble upon a Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, you know, let's say a config that is high up there. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I've gotten a few people in the comment section and also sending me emails asking which one they should go for. So let's say they would find a Tab S7 Plus with 512 gigs for the same price as a Tab S8 Plus with 128 gigs of internal storage. Which one should they go for? Now, this is really a good situation, you know, a good dilemma to have, right? Because for either one, if you were to go with either one of these tablets, you definitely guarantee guarantee a fantastic user experience, right? Now, what I would, you know, without hesitating, I would simply say go for the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus with 128 gigs of internal storage simply because you can always upgrade. Now, remember, Samsung does offer you the option to expand that internal storage at up to one terabyte using a micro SD card. Meaning you could buy this guy for however much it costs where you live and then just go ahead and hit up Amazon. You could go ahead and pick up, you know, one of those 512 gigs micro SD card or one terabyte micro SD card and be able to just stick that in and be able to expand that internal storage, right? So bottom line, if you find yourself in a situation where you, need to choose between the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, 256 gigs, and by the way, that would come, I believe, with eight gigs of RAM, or 512 gigs of internal storage, and I believe that will also come with eight gigs of RAM. I could be wrong, but I think it's eight gigs of RAM. Be choosing between that and the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus, with 128 gigs of RAM, without a doubt, without hesitating, just go for the Tab S8 Plus. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get back to the tablet itself. Of course, I'm always gonna start these types of videos this way. So, it still looks very, very good. It's still very clean. Like I said last time, Samsung is using aluminum armor or armor aluminum, whatever they wanna call it. So, the, the tablet itself is a lot more resistant to scratches and dings and things like that. So, that doesn't mean just go ahead and smash it, you know, against the wall or against the floor, but, you know, it's prone, it's less prone to scratch and things compared to the previous generation. So, so far, so good in terms of physical condition. Now, beyond that, in terms of performance, user experience is still the same. It's a large tablet, so if you are out there looking for a large Android tablet, this would be the one. Now, one of the main reasons people love this tablet is the Super AMOLED display that's there. Now, if you're not aware, Samsung makes displays for a ton of manufacturers out there. And that's simply because Samsung is very good at it. And when it comes down to display, they did the same with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus, just like they did with the S7 Plus. When it comes down to that OLED display, it is beautiful. Those inky blacks, just Samsung does it in a way where it's almost as if no one can imitate, right? So those blacks are super black, reds, same thing like I always say, inky reds, inky blacks, right? So beautiful display is still the same. Just so nice when you're watching movies or playing games, whatever the case may be. If you are in the market for this and you were hesitating, you buy this tablet, six months later, there shouldn't be any issues assuming of course you just made regular use or reasonable usage of the tablet. As far as the battery goes, it's still a fantastic battery, 10,090 milliamp, that definitely should get you through the day. Even for power user, I am a power user, so even for power users, it's still able to get them through the day. Now, it will depend of course of the way you use your tablet, what you use it for, the type of apps, all of that good stuff, but generally, generally, even if you're a power user, you should be able to see till the end of the day. Now, it's also capable of fast charge. So, like I said last time, if you have the ability, if you are able to pick up one of those, you know, fast chargers, like a 25 watt or a 45 watt, just make sure to do that so that you can quickly get your tablet back to full in no time. So, it is fast charge capable at up to 45 watt, which is very impressive and very, very practical, especially for people who need to to be on their tablet at all time, meaning if you run out of juice, of course, if you have a 45 watt charge, you could just go ahead and plug it in 30 minutes or now you should have a good chunk of battery life back on the tablet for you to be able to get back to working. Now, it comes down to productivity, same thing, right? We talk about it all the time. One UI is just amazing. I personally absolutely love One UI. I've used it you know, for a very long time. For a lot of you guys who don't know what One UI is, it's essentially the skin sitting on Android. You know, that's that UI, the design, all of the, 
user interface, how you interact with the tablet. So I just like the way Samsung made it look, right? And the way it flows also. I always say that, you know, I wish it could flow even better, maybe not even better. I wish it could kind of emulate the way animations on the Pixel phones, you know, flow, right? But I digress there. Anyway, so in terms of user experience, fantastic user experience so far, high productivity level. Of course, it's loaded with a Qualcomm chipset that is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, and this is loaded with eight gigs of RAM. You have eight gigs of RAM here. My unit here is the two, I'm sorry, the 128 gigs. My Ultra is the one that's 256. This one is the 128 gigs of internal storage. And like I said, you can expand that up to one terabyte. You know, I've been able to toggle back and forth doing so many things at the same time. And with that level of RAM, with such a powerful chipset, I've had zero issues. Just like I did with my Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra, I've been able to test out, you know, video editing on here. And it's super comfortable. If you wanna go ahead and edit video on your S8 Ultra, it's gonna be very, very comfortable. So if you're buying this for content creation, you should be good, my friend. You should be good to go. Watching movies, like I said, beautiful tablet where you're playing games, you know, quad speaker setup here, really loud. But of course you can always connect like a pair of Bluetooth headphones and you should be good. Unfortunately, it does not have a headphone jack. Obviously, we don't find that on you know flagship tablets anymore. Only budget tablets for some reason are carrying that, but that's just that. The S Pen, of course, is amazing on the S8 Plus here. It has been improved. Latency also has been improved, and as you test out, as you're taking out notes, you can definitely notice that there is absolutely zero lag. Camera has been good, taking pictures and videos, definitely scanning documents and things like that. That's generally what I will use it for, scanning documents. Not necessarily taking pictures or videos because I have my phones for that, right? I just use my phones for videos and pictures, but when it comes down to using tablets, you know, I would just use it if I need to scan a document or something like that, then I'll go ahead and do that. So, so far, zero complaints in that department. I think I'm just going to go ahead and stop this video here. Let me just give you a quick summary. So after using the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus for six months, I think if you are in the market for this tablet here, don't hesitate. It is kind of the perfect or the best of both worlds, right? So if you were trying to buy something that's not as small as the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, but not as large as the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, this would be the perfect one. That would be the one in the middle there in terms of size and in terms of the best of both worlds, because despite not being as large as the S8 Ultra, you still get that, you know, super AMOLED display. You get that beautiful display and it's still very large. You know, the tablet itself is still large enough for you to enjoy watching videos or playing video games and all of that good stuff. So if you're in the market for this guy here, what I typically do is I make sure that I track some of the best deals that I can find on tablets and create links for you guys to you know that would reroute you to those deals so make sure to check out the links that i will have in the description if you are in the market for either the samsung galaxy type s8 plus or a type s8 that i've made a you know, a bunch of videos on already, or the s8 ultra or the s6 Lite, or whatever the case may be i made videos on pretty much all of these current Samsung tablets. So make sure to check out my other videos. Make sure to share this video if you know anyone who'll be interested, anyone who's in the market for this. I will catch you in the comment section. Let me know with your questions, any questions you may have about this specific tablet, any comment you wanna make, I would absolutely love to read that and interact with you in the comment section. I will catch you there. I'm also gonna catch you in the next video. Up until that next video, of course, as always, stay safe out there.